Hey everybody, Omri here and welcome to another video. You are watching a sped up version of a 60 minute vinyasa class that I'm going to be posting on my Patreon shortly. If you uh, haven't been or visited there yet, that's where I post my full classes, tutorials, workshops, everything that you can take if you're not taking my live classes and it's really not expensive. Click on the link below to explore it. Now today's practice, I practiced to a Zoom class that I taught the other day. So by the way, I'll be posting both the Zoom class with everybody practicing and the version with just me in case you want to see how I do the practice itself. But I made a mistake today and I did not use a yoga towel. Now this class is hard and sweaty and plus outside there's a storm. So it's crazy humid. It was a slip and slide before I knew it. The whole mat was slippery. So later on in in the in the video here, you'll see that I am struggling with traction on the mat, which is really great. Um, it made the practice significantly more difficult and I had to pay a lot more attention and I couldn't move into the full range of motion because obviously I would have either slipped or fallen over and I always practice carefully but what I also noticed was that it demanded so much more of me physically to do the class like that just the lack of traction gave me a lot less power to lift to push to pull I had to work a lot harder to hold my body in positions on top of the class already being pretty tough you know I want to give a shout out to all my students you guys are so amazing um, taking my own classes is really hard. I take my vinyasa classes, I take my Bikram classes, and they really help me keep in shape, uh, or at least try to get back to shape to where I used to be. Um, and it's working. I can see it on myself. I can see the difference in the practice. I can see the precision. I can see the effort. And I feel it after class. And, you know, after class, I usually meditate for a little bit, a few minutes. I sit, I meditate, and I take a long, hot shower with my shake. Um, that's something that I actually miss uh, is a, a nice hot sauna after class, but a nice hot shower does just fine. And then I look at this footage and I um, evaluate my performance. And I see what I did well and I see what still needs to be worked on, on top of remembering what worked in class and what didn't. So the shout out to my students is you guys are so awesome that you can do all of this. Seriously, this is hard stuff. It would be hard for even a very seasoned yoga practitioner. Now, of course, there's different levels of that. There's people who have been practicing all their lives uh, at a very high level and move through it with ease. But for most people who practice a uh, medium uh, difficulty class, this class will be very challenging. And I'm really looking forward to show you how practicing like this transform your body during the quarantine just like everybody else and even before that because of an injury i wasn't practicing initially as much as i needed or wanted i just had a lot to deal with and uh, i didn't get around to doing what i needed to do but now that i'm back in the saddle and i'm practicing every day trying to do at least a class every day i am starting to see and feel the difference on myself I see it in the mirror. I feel it on my body. I have so much more energy. My sleep patterns are different. My food consumption has gone up definitely because my body needs a lot of energy to burn through. So if you're experiencing any of that, just know that it's absolutely normal. This is really hard work. It's also no nonsense. I've tried to watch some other videos on YouTube by other people. And in my opinion, they're slow and they take forever to get to where they need to go. And I, I need a different kind of thing. I need a much more intense practice, faster practice that pushes my boundaries continuously. And I really like this practice itself. See, right here in that moment, I had to adjust my step because I was slipping. <laughs> that was just so difficult. I wouldn't recommend that, by the way. Use a yoga towel. I am going to use a yoga towel next time. I'm also going to use a different mat. So, yeah. If you've never taken my life class before, try it. You might uh, feel that it's a big kick in the butt. You might feel that it's okay. 
but I think there's going to be something for you there, for anyone there. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what else I can post and create for you. But at this point, I'm going to be focusing on creating some live classes, not live classes, recorded classes, so you can see the technique. If there's anything you see in the video that you have questions about, let me know in the comments below. Send me a message. Go to my website, Omri Does Yoga. Go to my company's website, omedaholisticwellness.com. It's in the questions and the sharing and the discussing that you get to know a little bit more about how your practice is going to develop, where are the roadblocks, and what you need to do to overcome. That's the fun part of the practice. So definitely make sure that if you do have any questions, reach out to me. I'd be so glad to address it. And otherwise, enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy my other videos. If you can, jump into one of my live classes. All the links are below as well. I have uh, either you can pay per class, you can pay for the monthly unlimited, you can just do the Bikram classes, you can do all the classes. You have all the options. Thanks for joining. I'll see you again tomorrow morning.